Ciao ragazzi, buongiorno e benvenuti tutti alla lezione di italiano oggi. Come stai? Tutto bene? Spero di sì. Hope you're all well. Um, this is the next Italian lesson connected to places in town. Um, there'll be a mix of things today, places in town, opening times, but also um, some new vocab for you. It's about asking people if they want to go to places with you, um, coming up with reasons um, why you might want to, and also some excuses so that you can decline. Just a reminder, of course, the slogan there, andrà tutto bene, meaning it will all be fine. Okay. Allora, cominciamo. Prima di tutto, first of all, starter, quanti posti sapete? Quanti posti sapete in inglese? Cosa significa? Well, that means how many places do you know? Okay, quanti posti sapete? Allora, prendete una penna e scrivete, per favore, in forse un minuto, quanti posti sapete? Okay, give yourself one minute, pause the video, write down as many places as you can remember. Va bene, allora, ecco finito. Um, hopefully you've got a nice long list of places, just so that you can see some of the things that you could have come up with. There's a word document on the screen now. This is two lists, okay, the first one, luoghi in città uno, so places in town one, e poi luoghi in città due. Now you haven't done all of these places, so don't thinking that you've missed loads out but you should be able to see there's a fair few that are familiar to you the ones we've done in previous lessons so you can pause the video now you can have a look remind yourself of the vocab so that's the first list at the top and then underneath i'll just scroll down slightly there we go you can see there's a couple more there these are the ones we haven't done really the open air pool the indoor pool the velodrome the ice rink okay so it's the top list that probably looks most familiar so feel free to pause this now and have a little look, see how you've got on. Depending on how you did in that first task, you may feel like you actually need to spend a few minutes before today's lesson reminding yourself of some of these places. And if that's the case, um, you can pause the video now and come back to it later. There's two ways of revising vocab. You can go to quizlet.com, which some of you may have used before. If you go to Quizlet, you don't need a login. You can just type in the codes that you see there and they will take you to the vocab list that were actually just on your screen in that Word document. Um, however, instead of just looking at a list of words, you can play games and try and remember them by doing it that way. Um, Educandy, which you have used before, is the other way of revising different kinds of games. Exactly the same set of vocab and exactly the same idea where you don't need a login. You just go to the website and type in the codes. Okay, so either Quizlet or Educandy, whatever you prefer, but have a look if you think you need some more practice. In terms of the key vocab to today, for today's lesson, um, there's things in the yellow box which you will come across. So ways of asking people if they want to do things. Vuoi andare? Vuoi means do you want? Andare to go. Ti piacerebbe? Would you like to? And finally, ti va di, which just means do you feel like, okay? Um, things that you've done in previous lessons, a che ora, meaning at what time, if you're making arrangements. And finally, mezzo, quarto, e aperto, just a reminder of some things that you should be starting to get used to and remember a little bit more easily. The lesson today really allows you to use the vocab that you've been learning in a different context. So you can use vocab connected to places in town, you can use the vocab you've learned on the time, but it's a different scenario, okay? So asking people to do things and go to places with you and accepting and declining with reasons. Va bene. Allora, inviti. Vuoi andare al cinema alle otto? Ali otto? No, non posso, sono occupato, mi lavo i capelli. Numero due. Vuoi andare alla galleria alle nove e mezza? Uh, alla galleria? Mm, sì, d'accordo, mi piacerebbe molto. Ok, so you've heard me read out two examples there, both with people being invited to places. I want you to just pause the video now, take a minute to see how much you think you've understood of these phrases. And it might be worth going back and re-listening to it to listen to the intonation. That means the way my voice moves, the pitch of my voice, because that sometimes gives things away in terms of actually understanding the meaning. So even though you don't know all of the vocab, see if you can figure out what's going on in these conversations. Pause now and then come back for the answers. 
Ok, le risposte. Allora, numero uno. Vuoi andare al cinema alle 8? So, it's saying, would you like to go to the cinema at 8? Alle 8? So, at 8? No, non posso. Meaning, no, I can't. Sono occupato. Now, hopefully you've made a connection between occupato and occupied. So that means I'm busy. Okay, and mi lavo i capelli means I'm washing my hair. Next one is asking if someone wants to go to the gallery at 9.30. Nove e mezza. The response alla galleria, so the same pitch, so to the gallery. Si d'accordo. Okay, now the word accord, which is in the middle there. If you make an accord, it's an agreement. So it's actually saying, yes, okay. All right, so they're agreeing to it. Mi piacerebbe molto. You should recognize in piacerebbe the word piace, which means like. So mi piace, I like. Mi piacerebbe, I would like. So, mi piacerebbe molto, I would really like that. Okay, so hopefully you can see there how you can work out a few new phrases by understanding things that you've done before. So, would you like to go to the? Okay, that's how you say it. Ti piacerebbe andare, so would you like to go? And then when you're saying to the and you're saying the place, okay, you need to actually just follow this rule, okay? So it's always andare a, so that's to go to. But when you have a followed by il, it actually combines to make al. When you've got a and la, it combines to make alla. And a and lo combines to make allo. So that means if you wanted to say you want to go to the gallery, it's ti piacerebbe andare alla galleria. Do you want to go to the museum? Ti piacerebbe andare al museo, because it's il museo, so you're combining a and il. Then it's la discoteca, it's a feminine word, so ti piacerebbe andare alla discoteca, followed by al teatro, this time we've got allo stadio, okay, because it's lo stadio, then al bar, alla piscina, alla sala di giochi, al centro sportivo, okay, so there's a few of the examples that you've seen in previous lessons, hopefully the meaning of those is still somewhere in your head, okay, and you haven't forgotten them. Okay, so we're going to have a look now, and you're going to listen to me say a place and a time, okay, and it'll be a place from the left hand side. So the example, esempio, this is letter C, nine o'clock. So for that example, you would hear me say the question, would you like to go to the disco, okay, because that's letter C, at nine o'clock. And in Italian, that would sound like this. Ti piacerebbe andare alla discoteca alle nove. Okay, so you've got the sentence at the top. You just need to listen out for which place it is and then jot down a time. Okay, allora scrivete un posto e a che ora. Okay, scrivete. So make a note of these. Bisogna una penna, per favore, una penna. Va bene, allora numero uno. Here's your first one. Ti piacerebbe andare al teatro alle otto e mezza? Due. Ti piacerebbe andare al bar alle sei? Numero tre. Ti piacerebbe andare al centro sportivo alle dieci e venti? Quattro. Ti piacerebbe andare alla piscina a mezzogiorno? 5. Ti piacerebbe andare allo stadio alle 3 meno un quarto? Ok, allora, se bisogna si può ripetere. Ok, if you need to, you can repeat this. So just take the video back, listen to it again, add pauses in if you need time. Otherwise, here are your answers. Ok, le risposte. Allora, 1. D, 8.30. 2. F, 6 o'clock. 3, I, ok, letter I, 10.20, 4, G, then it was midday, mezzogiorno, so it's 12 o'clock, numero 5, E, the stadium, and it was 3 minus a quarter, that's what you heard me say, so 2.45, ok, va bene, allora un voto su 10, that would be a mark out of 10, un voto su 10. Ok, allora, la domanda, ti piacerebbe andare al cinema? So asking, would you like to go to the cinema? Si o no? Si o no? So yes or no, ok? Let's start off with a few simple ways of saying that yes, you would like to. 
So, fantastico, che buona idea. So, wait, what a good idea. Fantastico, che buona idea. Then, very simply, mi piace il cinema. I like the cinema. And after that, adoro il cinema, mi va. So, I love the cinema. I feel like doing that. That's what mi va means. It's like, I fancy that. I feel like doing that. Okay? But this one, che buona idea. What a good idea. Then, if you don't want to do that, no. Non mi piace molto il cinema. I don't really like the cinema much. Okay, remember molto can mean lots or much. Then we've got il cinema non è molto interessante. So the cinema isn't, non è, very interesting, molto interessante. E finalmente no, odio il cinema, non mi va. Okay, so those are some simple ways of saying whether you want to do something, things that you should recognise and be able to work out. Okay. So we've got some places on the right hand side. Okay, we've got the castle, the museum, the market, the theatre, stadium, zoo, gallery, pool, church, disco. Okay, and what I want you to do is to run through, okay, and for each of these places, say out loud the question and the answer. So, what would you say for you for these places? So, for number one, would you like to go to the castle? It would be Ti piacerebbe andare al castello? And then if you would like to go, okay, then you would say something like, mi piace il castello, or fantastico, che buona idea. Or alternatively, you would turn them down by saying, il castello non è molto interessante, okay? So you are, instead of you saying the question and the answer and feeling like you're going mad, I will say each question for you, and that way you get to hear the Italian for those places if you've forgotten them as well. So you can answer, okay, in the time that um, you require, so pause if you need to. Ok, numero uno, ti piacerebbe andare al castello? Due, ti piacerebbe andare al museo? Tre, ti piacerebbe andare al mercato? Quattro, ti piacerebbe andare al teatro? Cinque, ti piacerebbe andare allo stadio? Sei, Ti piacerebbe andare allo zoo? Sette. Ti piacerebbe andare alla galleria? Otto. Ti piacerebbe andare alla piscina? Nove. Ti piacerebbe andare alla discoteca? Dieci. Ti piacerebbe andare alla chiesa? Ok, va bene. So, other ways of accepting or declining. We've got quite a few here, so see how we get on. Again, pause, go back as many times as you need to. First of all, if you just want to say, I would like to, mi piacerebbe o mi va. Okay. Ascoltate e ripetete. Mi piacerebbe, mi va. Non posso, meaning I can't. Devo fare i compiti. Okay, meaning I have to do my homework. Non mi va, meaning I don't feel like it. Ho mal di testa, I've got a bad head. Classic excuse here, mi lavo i capelli, I'm washing my hair. Non ho i soldi, I don't have any money. Non ho tempo, I don't have time. Remember that ho means I have, non ho, I don't have, so I don't have time, non ho tempo. È impossibile. It's impossible. Sono occupato. I'm busy. Okay, and there we have the phrases that we're going to be practicing. Allora, che cos'è in italiano? Che cos'è? So have a little look. Which of these four phrases do you think goes with each of the images? Pause, have a think, decide, and then we'll see whether you're right. Okay, so the first one I can't, non posso. Second one, I'm doing my homework, devo fare i compiti. Non mi va, I don't feel like it. And ho mal di testa, I've got a bad head. Okay, stessa cosa, same thing again. So, washing your hair, no money, no time, and it's impossible. E le risposte? Okay, mi lavo i capelli, non ho soldi, non ho tempo, no, è impossibile. Okay, finally, ways of saying that you're busy, okay, you're otherwise occupied, and ways of just simply accepting. Okay, so if you want to say that you're too busy, there's two things on here, either sono occupato, 
for o un appuntamento, which means I've got a meeting, I've got an appointment, okay, if you've already got something on. The other three, volentieri, means gladly, perché no, why not, mi piacerebbe, I'd like that, okay. Allora, vuoi venire, sì o no? Would you like to come, yes or no? Okay, so we've got a whole list here, okay, of phrases which are mixed up. They are a mixture of phrases where you accept or decline. And I've picked 10 of them on the right-hand side and written the English. So can you find the corresponding Italian phrase for the ones that are here? So which phrase from the left means you've got a bad head, which one means I can't, all the way down to number 10. Le risposte allora. Okay, our answers then. So, a bad head, numero uno, acca o mal di testa. Numero due, I can't, non posso, G. Numero tre, I'm busy, lettera I lunga, sono occupato. Quattro, I've no money, lettera L, non ho soldi. I'm washing my hair, numero cinque, is mi lavo i capelli, M. Numero 6, gladly, lettera D, sì, volentieri. Numero 7, why not, lettera B, perché no. Numero 8, I don't feel like it, C, non mi va. Numero 9, good idea, lettera I, che buona idea. E numero 10, ok, is d'accordo, ok, d'accordo, which is lettera A. Perfetto. Okay, so let's have a look at that vocab, but in a slightly different way. So the same question, vuoi venire, sì o no? Do you want to come, yes or no? Okay, guardate la lista, guardate la lista e mettete le parole nelle categorie giuste, okay? Per esempio, d'accordo è positivo, non mi va, negativo, okay? So you're looking for the ones which are accepting, like d'accordo, which means okay, that would go in this column here, and non mi va, which means I don't feel like it, would be in the declining column there, okay? So pause, have a think about them, decide which one would go where. Okay, i positivi, okay, our acceptances. I positivi, prima di tutto, all of our positives first, we should have d'accordo, which means okay, perché no, why not? Si volentieri, which means yes, gladly. Then mi piacerebbe molto, meaning I'd really like to. Skipping down now to che buona idea, meaning what a good idea. And the others, I believe, are all negatives. Yeah, so back up to the top. Um, non mi va, which means I don't feel like it. Then we've got non ho voglia, meaning I don't want to. Non posso, I can't. Then I've got a bad head. I'm busy, it's impossible. I don't have any money and I'm washing my hair. Okay, so go back through these, listen again if you need to check where you went wrong or if you if you didn't get many of them right, maybe have another go. Continuamo. If we carry on, okay, let's just have a little look at combining some of these things together. So the question, ti piacerebbe andare, meaning if you remember, would you like to go to? So would you like to go to the stadium? Ti piacerebbe andare? And it has to be allo stadio, okay, because a and lo makes allo. So would you like to go to the stadium? And if you wanted to say, um, I can't, it would be non posso, okay? So have a think about how you would put this phrase together. How would you say, um, I'd like, would you like to go to the gallery? And the person is going to say, I've got no money. Okay, so it would be, ti piacerebbe andare alla galleria? And if you have no money, it would be non o soldi. Second one, how would you say, come si dice, do you want to go to the games room? And the person's going to decline because they have to do their homework. Allora si dice, ti piacerebbe andare alla sala dei giochi? And the way of declining is this one, devo fare i compiti. Final one for you, how would you say, would you like to go to the pool? And the answer is, I'm busy. So it would be, ti piacerebbe andare alla piscina, and I'm busy, is sono occupato. Right, 
Allora, un prova di ascolto. So, a listening task for us now. You're going to be listening out for the place, so the where, whether it's an acceptance or whether the person is declining. And if you can say what the reason is, okay, or if, for example, there's a time or something like that, just something extra that you've understood, then if you can make a note of that. So, all of these, you're going to be writing your answers in English. Allora, prendete una penna, per favore. Bisogna una penna. So grab yourself a pen. Just jot yourself quickly a table down, which has got one to five, where a tick or a cross for accept or decline, and then a column which says extra. Va bene, numero uno. Ti piacerebbe andare alla galleria? Alla galleria? Sì, mi piacerebbe. Amo l'arte. Due. Ti va di andare allo stadio? No, non mi va. Odio il calcio. 3. Vuoi andare in discoteca con me? No, non mi va. Ho mal di testa. 4. Ti va di andare alla piscina oggi? Sì, mi piacerebbe. A che ora? Alle 10 e un quarto. Numero 5. Vuoi andare alla chiesa? No, non mi piace. È noioso. Ok, allora finito. Però se vuoi ripetere, puoi ripetere. Ok? Repeat if you want to. So go back, pause the video as many times as you need to. And then you can have a look at the answers together. In terms of... The marking, you can give yourself a mark for each piece of information. So number one was the gallery they accepted, and the reason was because they love art. Two, it was the stadium they declined, and it was because they hated football. Three was the disco, and it was a decline because they had a bad head. Four was the pool, which they wanted to go to, and the time was going to be at 10.15. And finally, it was the church, and they said no because it was boring. Okay, a task now for you, and um, you're going to write five invites, each with a different response, okay? So, and as an example, suggestion is going to the cinema. So, ti piacerebbe andare al cinema con me stasera? Now, that means with me tonight. The response, la risposta, no grazie, mi lavo i capelli. So, no thanks, I'm washing my hair, okay? Allora, cinque inviti, five invites. So, have a go at writing these down. Do it as a question and an answer. Remember, if you go back to the start of the video with the yellow box, which had all of the key vocab, there are other ways of saying, would you like to? So you don't just have to say, ti piacerebbe. You could say, vuoi. Okay, do you want to? Or ti va di, which means, do you feel like? So this is where you're going to pause the video, possibly go back and write five invites. Okay, dai su. Ok, allora, se avete finito, ok, if you're done, um, this is if you want to have a go at something a bit more complex. So this is um, un dialogo più lungo, which is a longer conversation, ok. Leggete il dialogo e cambiate le parole sottolineate, which means read the conversation and change the words which are underlined, ok. This is if you found the last task pretty easy and want to have a look at something more complex. Ok, eccolo. So here's your conversation, part A and B. So we'll read it out once through so you can hear the pronunciation. Try and work out what's happening as you listen. Buongiorno. Ciao, come stai? Tutto bene? Sì, grazie. Sto molto bene. Allora, ti va di andare al bar stasera? Al bar? No, non mi va. Allora, vuoi andare al ristorante? Al ristorante? Sì, perché no? Buona idea. A che ora ci vediamo? Ci vediamo alle 8? Va bene, alle 8. Ciao, arrivederci. Ok, prima cosa, ok, leggete, ok, first thing to do is to read it, so read it out loud, ok, if you need to re-listen to me for any of the pronunciation, ok, then you can do that. Read it once through as it is without changing anything and then have a think about what each of the phrases means, so do a translation. If we look together at what the conversation means, it's fairly straightforward at the beginning. So, hello, hi, how are you? Is everything okay? Yes, thank you, I'm really well. 
Allora, you hear people say a lot in Italian, it means so or well. So, so, do you fancy going to the bar tonight? To the bar? No, I don't feel like it. So, do you want to go to the restaurant? The restaurant? Yeah, why not? Good idea. At what time shall we meet? Okay, or what time are we seeing each other? Remember, ci vediamo can mean see you later. Okay, so at what time shall we see each other? Ci vediamo alle otto. Let's see each other at eight. Okay, at eight. Goodbye. See you later. Arrivederci. Okay, so that's the conversation. You can either now, if you want to rewrite the conversation, you can do so. You can change as much as you like. But the thing that's um, important is that you have a go at changing the place and the reason. Okay, um, there are some suggestions underneath for what you could try and change them to. So this is what you would do if you were in class and you were working with a partner. One of you would read A and the other would read B. You'd be swapping the information that's underlined. You can use this if you wish, or you can just use the conversation to write your own. Okay, so use it as a template. If when you've done that, okay, you think that you've managed that pretty well, send it in to me. I'll have a look at it and um, see how you've got on. The next thing you need to do, okay, abbiamo quasi finito, we're nearly done, um, is to look back over the vocab that we've practiced on your own, okay, so um, educandi.com is where you can go to today for the new vocab, so the code would be 19AED, um, learn the vocab, have a go at um, learning it pretty well as if you were coming into class for a vocab test, and possibly make yourself a vocab test and see how you get on. Um, for those of you who haven't yet done this please do send in work that you're doing it's nice to see what you're doing um anything please um feedback as well um it's the mfl help at qsgrange.org.uk email address also i would um encourage some of you to have a go at some of the lockdown bingo tasks if you've not already done so so the lockdown bingo gives you the chance to do something which isn't just what i set in lessons so you can have a go at something a bit more cultural all of the tasks are here if you've not already seen it. You could have a go at an Italian yoga session. You could have a go at doing an Italian song. So the lyrics training website is really good for that. You can have a go at making or at least finding a recipe of some kind of famous Italian dish. Um, anything you fancy. But if you would like to do that, that would be really nice. And I would look forward to seeing some of those from you. Okay, abbiamo finito. We're done. Allora, buona giornata, buona settimana e ci vediamo fra poco. Ok, have a good day. Ciao, ciao.